All right, Screaming Demons RC, SDRC. We're in the shop tonight. I'm going to be showing you how to make your own uh, paddle tires out of some old monster truck tires and some old truggy or buggy tires. Uh, so it doesn't take much. A bit of tire glue, CA glue. Like I say, some old tire uh, tires, monster truck chevrons is what I used. I'll show you exactly um, how to do it. Here, I got it all in all the stages. This is the complete one with eight paddles on it. And I will uh, show you what the rest look like. Just one second. All right, this is the whole set of tires. Uh, this is the first one here. It's completely stock. Well, worn right out stock, but it's uh, just a regular old buggy tire off a of 1.8 buggy. Uh, it's pretty worn, so I'm not going to be using it anymore off-road. And I figured, well, let's try a little experiment, which I've done before in the past. This is my fourth set of uh, paddle tires I've made now. Uh, there's another set over here. Hold on right quick. This set here I made. This works really good. I just did a video not long ago with this Stampede. And I'm sure a few of you have seen that video. Uh, they g give great traction and obviously very cheap to make because they're just old tires with a old set of rims I had and just some rubber I had laying around. I think this was actually a piece of a, uh, an old tire off a, a motorcycle tire or something like that. I chopped up. This was a few years ago. But uh, we're going to show you how to do this. So basically here's your tire. I took a bunch of... Uh, basically treads off a chevron tire which a chevron tire is a tire like hold on back over here a chevron tire is a tire like this we'll focus a little bit more so basically these are chevrons the chevron shape is this here right the v uh, these are basic classic monster truck tire on a lot of rcs that guys have laying around or in their shops you can find easily and what i did is i just Tuck, took sorry with a pair of scissors cut all of the excess off and just cut out each one it took a few minutes didn't take that long actually you know I did it like this cut 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 all the way around chopped them all off which gave me pieces like this back over to the bench here gave me a bunch of pieces like this right here so I got uh, ones from obviously both sides of the tire which are kind of a left and a right side I guess you know like back over here sorry if you look at them uh, this one side this is the other side so when I split them up for my tires I took and put four here's the tire I did already I took four of the left and four of the right tread and I divided them up into equal quadrants so each uh, one on each side that's a left and a right or sorry that's a one side left side and this over here these other four would be a right side so it's a little confusing it takes a bit to lay it out it's not that bad though I mean I figured it out so it <laughs> can't be that hard so this tire here is uh, okay that's one I hadn't worked at all here's the one sorry getting confused here's the one I've worked somewhat now what I did is I went around the tire and I ground off flat spots of all the knobbies you can see that with my Dremel a sanding drum I'll show you in one second what that is if you guys don't know um, so that's in eight different spots around the wheel you can see in the back I marked see these black marks all the way around the wheel eight marks or if you want to do six you can do six or four I just figured eight was pretty good then you're not getting uh, uh, kind of because if you do four here's one with four on it if you're doing four it's gonna jump and and bounce every time you're hitting it jump and jump it's it's kind of a rough ride I've done it before so I figured it's either six or eight that you need to do and I like eight because it just gives it a better look here it is eight right there so uh, back to this one anyway so I got two glued on there uh, gluing them on isn't that hard basically you just set them in place I'll show you real quick I'm not gonna do one because I'm don't have the hands free right so you just set them in place like this you get your CA glue it's pretty simple you just you know put them in the right spot with your marks on the back corresponding right it takes a bit of time you know but lay it out because you can get some really good tires out of this and they're gonna last a long time and they're the best thing is they're free well pretty cheap CA glue and a bit of your time so you put them in the right spot you take your CA glue you just put a dab there and I use the nice 
ultra thin, so it runs like water. Um, you put a dab, sorry, you put a dab right there where the, the tread is going to meet the other, the tire tread, and it just kind of runs underneath, and you got to hold it in place. You know, you got to hold it down. With two hands is much easier. I know I need a hands-free mount for my camera. So um, just hold it in place, and then you work your way around, and obviously, like I said, this is the one with four on it. I'll try and show you a little bit closer one second. Get a bit better uh, zoom on here. You can see how I actually got the glue to hold. There we go. I mean, they're on there. I tried to... I mean, they look they look like they'll come off, but they ain't coming off. That rubber is pretty much melted to the other rubber. That's... I think it's called vulcanizing when you vulcanize when you glue rubber together and it melts together. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Anyway, it works really good. And like I said earlier, this is my fourth fourth set of uh, paddle tires I've made. Uh, the first set for a buggy like this, the one eighth buggy. But I plan on running it on my uh, Arma Typhon, and I also plan on after I run it on that and I get my slash four wheel drive, which is over here. After I get my slash four-wheel drive all up and going, I'll probably be running it on that and test it on that too because it's, you know, winter time around here. Well, it's coming up to the winter time and it's going to be snowing lots and so we're going to need some good traction out there at the compound. So I figure I'll give it some good testing and let you guys know how it works out and and how long they last if any uh the knobby start ripping off or anything if you guys uh watch this video and have made your own tires you can write into me you know give me a comment um definitely into hearing what you guys have to think about this and uh anyway other than that it's a pretty quick video i just wanted to get uh this out there and show you guys what i had done and any uh questions or comments definitely uh drop me a line drop me a message and i'll answer anything i can and uh, look, I look forward to getting these done and getting them on my Arma Typhon because I really want to test them out. And then I'll be bringing you guys a video of that too, how they perform. So you guys have a good night. I'm going to get going. Uh, take care. And uh, like, if you like that video, hit the like button, the subscribe, all that other stuff. Hit the bell. And thanks again for watching. Screaming Demons RC, SDRC, out.